Right? Generally speaking. So you want another entity. Okay? Who is it? Right. I know you want me to get as much information as I can. I know. I know. The world needs to know more about this person for sure. Yeah, well, I know, I know, I know. I'll get on to it. I'll look into it. Bye. Hi and welcome to another episode of Inside Story. I'm your host, Ingram Jones, and we are here today in St. Mark's, at Barry's Plaza in Victoria. But guess who I've got to show you? It's winding time again, I want you to leave a place now. It's winding time, I want you to come near not too far. Winding time again, now winding, winding girl. That's what I love the table. Yes, I know you. So you didn't come on a limousine or anything like that? No, I came in there, mommy done food, you know, like... You walk? I walk, I run, I walk, I run, I made it. Okay, okay. It's tough, it's tough. Well, I'm glad to have you here. Yeah, man, you know, it's... I've seen a lot of your work, I've listened to a lot of your music. Can I have to say I'm a fan? Uh, say thanks, man. I'm grateful. So, I want to know a little bit more about Brother B. I want to know the inside story of right. Brother B. Right. Definitely. I'm going to go a little deep and find out what's really kicking. I say, and now, brother B, and you're there, and your tune comes on. Yeah. What goes through your mind? 
I'm that person coming before you call for Brother Day. And when I grab the mic, I don't know his excitement. No? Mm -hmm. So guess what? I'm all into it before you. Mm -hmm. So I know that I right, you to follow me. <laughs> <laughs> being from Grenada, yeah. and being a man that's, let's say, really doing well for himself musically, yeah. and the success you're having, do you see yourself as a leader in your, in your industry? And with that, what sort of pressure does that bring to you? I give you a message, you guys, and what I'm saying now is so much time that we get visions and all that so forth. Yes. You know? But when is your time? It's your time. It's the people right now, the massive, could tell that brother B is a leader in what I'm doing. You catch me? So I lead them to decide. I'm never a booster of self, so I would never stay, take it on self and say, guess what? I am a king. Uh, I lead it. You guys, you which is the massive, you which is the fans, you which is the, the people that, you know, that is watching my every move, would see that, you know, all right, be sticking that train where everything could be better, to catch it. How important are the fans to Brother B? Well, it's a one love, you know, but with them stating that, you know, I give thanks for those that show the love and I give thanks for those that hate. Oh, you have haters? <laughs> but, Talk to me about the haters. When them haters. <laughs> them, them haters. <laughs> A second on them. No, they hate us, man. I'm telling you, man. Them hate us. You can give them a time, they will eat you like cannibal. <laughs> I, when I'm stating that they are on their good side, and then that's why, you know, I love the haters. I embrace them. Do they people. motivate you? They do motivate you. They push you, they push you to the extreme mind that you don't even think that you have it inside. So people hate for different reasons, and when I'm stating that, you have to use that energy to motivate you. Okay. And go to that extreme mind because but them, you know, I like I normally just take it to the most I pray. Normally when I get it nowadays because criticism is so a big part of what we do of as being entertainers. Jealousy will kill. Mm. She used to always pound it on me and I was like she was like, alright, I buy a truck for your brother and you get a car and then you hate on the truck. And I was like, yeah I want a truck too. <laughs> And you was like, you know, we get vexed enough to mash up the truck, pull out the wheel or something. This is what he could yes, do. So when he stay inside of you, it boils up yes. and boils up and it get bigger. Man, and before man, you know man, it, yeah, yeah murder it. Yeah, murder it. But with that, uh, these people, um, them, they help you. They help you because think about it like that. Mm -hmm. If everybody was about to just love you in that spot here, right here, Love you, love you, love you, love you. Nobody say that love is wrong. We all need love. You guys, mm -hmm. before everybody have you here, you know you will never go to the extra notch. You will never push. To be better. To be better. Agreed. Because you always tell yourself, here is a spot that you deserve. What's mean? Everybody don't love you already where you go at. That's what you want to tell yourself. Exactly. But when the haters, you know what they do though. They push it to be better. <laughs> and they can't see it. They can't see it. They don't 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 see it. Look at the market, the soca market, where you're at. Yeah. Is there anybody that you actually admire or you like? I give thanks for every every artist meditation, you know? Right. Because what I'm saying now we take a lot to just go and sit down and compose your best what I'm stating that um, anything and any you know, any music that would drop to uplift the culture. Yes. Whereby, you know, we all can be out there as a body. Yes. You know, going out representing where we come from. I love that, man. So what I do though, each one that I meet and, you know, I would give the advice to keep doing what they're doing. Because what I normally just say, right? Success is not success when you can't help somebody. They catch me. Okay. It's so much you can do for yourself as an individual. You know, you reach limits and you reach goals, and yes, you can see it, but you don't really feel the way you ought to when you can't help somebody. You got your man. It's whining time. I want to come near not too far. Whining time again. And before Brother B's nomination, the only person that has been on those type of levels is a guy called Henry Belafonte, who sung Calypso. And it's very poignant that as we were at these awards in Hollywood, he was on stage being honoured for his work in Hollywood. Um, and 
as we know, Brother B was nom is nominated twice and he's the first Soka artist in history. It's very important that Soka reaches these levels because Soka hasn't been, it's been in Billboard charts thanks to Alison Hines and Rupi and Kevin Little, but it hasn't reached like the Grammys or NAACP before. It's very important because this music is very essential to many cultures, many people around the world, and this music is very essential. It um, can pick up um, Afrobeats that is popular. It has a lot of influences from different genres of music. Afrobeats is extremely popular now. Funky House in England has gone mainstream. So Soka is very important in Hollywood. One, it hasn't been there in a form of Soka until now. And um, it's um, music that anybody can enjoy. What makes Brother B special? His music, the type of music he sings, the beats, whether it's power, soca, or groovy, or if it's a conscious soca. Um, Brother B is his music, so Wine in Time, um, St. Mark's Day, he's giving you um, a perspective of himself from his family home. So he's from St. Mark's, um, he's got a song called St. Mark's Day. And that's exactly what happens. The neighbors will wake up each other and say, it's here, St. Mark's Day. Um, Generation is a great track um, that talks about um, music evolving. So it's um, in a generation, a jab, jab generation, a whining generation. Everyone's interested in jab, everyone's interested in whining. He whines in a particular way that people across the globe go crazy over. And um, he sings his voice is in a particular tone. He's born like that. Nothing is artificial with him. So what makes Brother B special is just Brother B. <laughs> Hi guys, Lynn Andrew with the Red Carpet Report. We are downtown LA at the pre-gala NAACP Awards. I mean, we've talked to everyone. Everyone looked amazing in their gowns. Some people sang, some people danced. You're going to have to come check it out. Congratulations. You. you excited? I am excited. How does all of this feel? Experience experiences are experience, you know. I appreciate it. just being here with all my, you know, the black loving people, all the stars, people that I grew up seeing, it is an experience. Now, I hear you're the first Soka artist ever to be nominated. I mean, that's pretty big. Yeah, it is, you know. And everybody was looking, you know, and everybody just focus on participating. Not really, I am participating, really, but everybody is focused, and it is. It is a big song. And so you're going to have this party, and then I know it's like carnival time coming up. You're going to go home next week, and you're going to party some more? Yeah, well, you know, from just being nominated, I've been partying, but I would leave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I would leave, you know, going back into it. Because everybody's excited just as me when I reach there. We will be having a ball. We would be, you know, because just being nominated, you know, they, he asked me a while ago, he said, well, you know, do you want to win that? I would have said, of course I want to win. But he said, I am already a winner, just being nominated, you catch it, you know, so it is a great feeling, you know. Absolutely. Now, where can our viewers find your music? Oh, well, you could find it on um, iTunes and Amazon. You could get it on the, um, the link that I got right here. I will leave you guys with it. Yeah. If you take it up and to us, you get everything right here. So you're on Facebook, Brother B, Twitter, Real Brother B. And then, what is it? King? CherryRecords.com? Yeah, CherryRecords.com. Everything is right here. You get me right here. Now, will you do me a big favor? Will you spit a little rhyme for us right now? Just a quick one. Sing a little rhyme. You go like that, hum. All right. 
I ain't asking you for more, just give me a little wine. Aye. Pump and grind, just give me a little wine. Shake your behind, just give me a little wine. Do it one more time, just give me a little. From the time I saw her in the street and winding up she waistline. The only thing on my mind, I want to wine on that behind. Look how she whining, she got all the fans them crazy. I got to get her, no it's no maybe. So clear the way, let me hold on that. Beautiful! You're winning. Thank you. If you guys love this video, which I know you did, make sure you like and subscribe. Bye, guys. Okay, now that you've you made it, or as fans would say, for a fact, you made it. You're up there. You've gone to the uh, NAACP award. You've been nominated twice for that. You've been around all those stars. You've been sitting at the table. All those stars are there. You know, you've got a contract, you're doing what you're doing. By going to those positions, have you had to make any alterations or changes that would have compromised your soul? Because let me tell you something, um, is it 2007? Mm -hmm. That's the first time I came into soca music. And them time there and you know it's like you needed a way out you needed the massive to listen to you you need it. you had a message to deliver and you want people to hear you right you know and then i even had to applaud jimmy king because during them time there to now there's so much you could do with the quality of music that you was getting mm. you know because in the conscious field as well you know i was doing i was working with some individual but the quality wasn't there because so even that, these things, these things and them I was praying for as well. Mm -hmm. So I really want to applaud my management because you know what? I think during that time she was working with you know somebody else and that person you know told her about me from seeing me in a competition that he had up here. Right. <laughs> I wouldn't really make too much changes. To me, it was always a, she, she used to even uh, even management was asking me most of the time. It's like, you are right, and I was like, yeah. I'm just taking in the moment because I'm like, you know, yes, we're right here right now, but I don't want to get ahead of myself, you know, because fame is a thing, fame don't really love nobody, <clears throat> you hear me? And that's something I want, you know, I learn to believe and think and see because you have a lot of individual coming in and fame turn them against themselves. Turn them against the fans. You hear me? Mm -hmm. Fear don't really love us. You hear it? So it's you to control fear and not let fear control you. So with that right there, I just always, you know, right here. Yes, it's happening. It's right there. Capping people, you know, stars. Uh, <laughs> excited to see them, yes. But. But always here. So that when I fall back here, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't be too much to deal with myself. Be like, yeah, can you believe you this and that? Because this thing is really get to you guys. <laughs> it does. And you can see? I, I, I feel it every day. You know, every day, you know, I'm like, oh my celebrity, you think, 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 they will get to you, man. This is what fame does. I don't know, at one point, in, you know, at one point in time, it will make you feel bigger than the man. It will make you feel like you're the woman. <laughs> so, Brother B, you've been talking for a while about, you know, your, um, Deeper convictions from the, you know, the high one. Yeah. The Almighty. It's better putting the most high force because remember, you have those that help themselves. Because you have to know it in yourself what you want, where you come from, the extra mile. Because the way you come from will help you push the extra mile. You catch me. Being a successful artist. Yeah. What are the things that you had to adapt or, 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 or change? Because here you are, Brother B, in St. Mark's. Yeah. The next minute, you're in London, yeah. you're in America. What are the things that you feel that you've had to address or to adjust so that you're able to communicate with international relations, let's say? Well, the number one, you know, what I had to adapt is giving what I'm giving back, what is given to me, and that is love. That is love. It's like, guess what, brother Ben? They meet you different places, different parts of the community, start to hear with the roots. 
and everybody will you know give a hug and they will take a pain they will give you an encouraging speech they show you love someone is you to you they give it back and this is what carry me love not the hate but the love so going to london and these places and you know america and Toronto and and it's all fall back Tell me something, a high point for you, a point you can think, I just love what I do. You know, I'm going, yes, <laughs> this, is, this is why I love it. <laughs> yeah, but I've been uh, different events, you know, different, because the fans that bring out all this into you, you know, yes. they might really create the hype, they might really make you feel alive and give you, you know, that reason to run in the studio the next day and say, you know what, I feel, that individual will like that is so, you know, because yes. they, they cheer for you, you know, and then they, they give you that, because really and truly, I mean, the only feeling that I got mm -hmm. is the fans will give that encouragement. Wow. So how do you, how do you find it, how do you find, like, leaving the hot, the hot Caribbean island of Grenada, how do you find it coming to London? Well, you know, with the love, you know, that I got up here, you know, the support, you know, I mean, it was always make me feel good just leaving to come, you know, in the UK to, you know, perform because the people were right here, the endorsement, the love, I just want to be there, so, you know, to do the thing. Hide me up now. 
Yeah. 
What part of London? I would be in uh, South London. South, South London. London. So aside from the music, yeah. what does Brother B do behind the scenes? Okay, uh, Brother B is an individual, you know, I have a lot of, I care about a lot of people. Okay. You know, you know the people that have been through the same struggles, you know, and he's going through the same struggles which I go through as a youth and so forth. Yes. Because you know something that you know I started doing that you know, the first time I travel I brought, I brought back books and so forth, you know. And they said like you know all right, the fans been supporting you on this one. Mm. They didn't have to. <laughs> you know, and that's why normally as I tell you a question myself, they don't have to support you. They don't have to come to your gig, but they choose to, you catch it. Because you know they show the love. So uh, I think you showed show the love right back. So the youth and them, you notice that, you know, a lot of youth sometimes don't have it, you know, can go by it. So that always been my vision is that as more come, it's more that, you know, could get done. Mm -hmm. For them in here, we have management, have to management and so forth, you know. We don't really have the CDs and things that was, you know, that was selling on iTunes and Amazon and things about them, but we decided to guess what. You know, there is Christmas time coming around, but we do something special for you know, the people. And that's how we, to me, no one can, it wouldn't be not a better feeling than that, you know, after these things are never done. The feeling that I got is unexplainable. You get a different lightness. When everybody tell you and everybody, you know, I feel good, you're hearing the little youth and them. It is a right to give back mm. your words. You call them, you know, they call you for a charity show, and you know this charity show is raising funds for, like, for needy people. Yes. And you tell me you wouldn't attend. No, man, this man. I'm there in a jiffy. You know, no doubt. Yeah. No doubt. I'm there in a jiffy. I'm, I'm there as you call. I'm there because you say, no, I support this thing. I like, just, you know, I know what I'm telling you before, where you're coming from knowing where you want to go and who it is there, you know, you just never forget these things that they say is roots. We can do roots and it's to a tree. Cut the tree, cut the root of a tree. That tree is no more. So you always be a pastor in your own roots. So Brother B, in closing, yeah. what would be your message to somebody, a young person watching this show? What would you Tell them if they said, that brother B, I want to be just like him. Or I want to be better than him. Or I want to achieve the things that he's achieved. What would be your message to them? My first advice would tell them, you know, is like, put your trust in the most. Acknowledge him in everything that you do, you know. Every day you get up, give thanks for the day, you know. Advise you and ask for wisdom because that will lead you on that path where you want to go. And secondly, I will tell you that you know, sky, sky is the limit. Love everything that you do. Learn to love individual because life is like that. It's a circle. Life, the energy that you give today is what you're gonna get tomorrow. Don't let fame get to you. Accept every encouragement, but don't take it. Don't let it be ahead of your situation, because that will be a dumb fall. Look and respect everybody for who they are. Accept them for who they are, because that's the individual you will see while going up on your way right back down. You catch me, so. So many things, you know, that, that, that could be mentioned to that individual, but that's the main tips that they ought to know before starting the journey. Because it is a journey, you know, so. And just a one love, my brother, we have towards the youth and anybody that is watching it, the fans, you know, love mm -hmm. you for all the support and for the encouragement that, you know, they've been given, management and so forth. Cherokee, I want to say thanks to all the producers that work with me. You know, I want to heart out here, heart out here right now, heart. Because I'm grateful. I'm grateful for all 
the step and the effort, you know, that they take in the work of the man. What coming back right now is just happening is because all of it is happening right now. You get me? So, and even um, I didn't get to mention his name a lot in um, the interview that we do right now. He's a cousin of mine, his name is Kelly. When you're talking about a push, man, that was an individual. He had many times and I used to tell myself I'd be there because you will get so much, you know, stoppage from promoters and stuff. They will give you so much brambling, as we say, the brambling is. <laughs> and he's always there, he always been there pushing, pushing me. You always fall back to that individual to see what is inside of you that you can see and then he been that mentor and this thing that interviewed the blessing of Kelly. You will get to watch it and love her and thanks for having me. Man. Appreciate you so much, brother. Yeah. So brother Lady, yeah. how do fans connect with you? Yeah, they can um, they can get you with me on um, <coughs> Facebook. That's Leslie Brother B and um, even Brother B. And even Leslie Madas. And um, they can follow me on Twitter. I'm really Brother B. Okay, Brother B. Excellent stuff. Thank you so much yeah. for talking to me and, and being a part of the Inside Story Show. Thanks for having me, man. I really Thank appreciate you. it. Thank you. Shine, why you always in the waistline? Watch the way you walk and you walk, and you do it the time after. 
what nobody say. Yeah. Now you know you come out of play. Yeah. And you is like head in one way. You is like head in one way. Yeah. Yeah. You just a fraud. Yeah. You don't lie. Yeah, yeah you the best. Yeah. No one can just wash my name. Yeah. You just a fraud. Yeah. You don't lie. Yeah, yeah you the best. Yeah. No one can taste. Can you can you feel it? Hey. Can you feel the heat? Girl, put your foot on my shoulder. It's whining time again. I want you a little closer. It's whining time. I want you to come near not too far. Whining time again. Now whining, whining girl. That's what I love the table. Yes, I know your river. You come and do have your time. Ready to bust your life. Working Sunday to Sunday. Take the weight off your shoulder. Yes, you're ready to take over. Ready to take over. Independent. Yeah, yeah. We ain't Gucci and Prada. I'm stepping out. Yeah, yeah. Working out for your dollar. It's one in time. Oh my God. It's one in time. Put your foot on my shoulder